Yo, what's going on Marvel fans, it's your boy Infamous, and today we're talking about many things when it comes to Marvel Avengers, and we have a crap ton of news that's actually going to be released, not only the last two days, but the next two coming days, talking about everything Marvel Avengers, what we have to look forward to, and breaking it down in multiple steps and days of, you know, the portions of the game for us until launch. So with that all being said, if you guys are excited for today's content, you're excited for the news that we're dropping here today, don't forget to like up the video, share the video out, and make sure you hit that subscribe button, become a part of the Infamous Nation, and if you guys are ready, let's dive in. Also, if you can, follow me on Twitter, we're so close to 100 followers. I just appreciate it. Thank you so much. Anyways, diving in, we want to first talk about the accessibility of the game, talking about what's available at launch and what's accessible for the game at launch. It kind of just makes sense, right? So first of all, it's going to be subtitles as well as closed captions. There'll be 15 different languages for you to actually go ahead and select from. You also have multi-tap interact style, which means you can either have it be a default of tap or hold, whichever is kind of in the situation, but you can change it to default hold, or sorry, default hold or tap so you have those three options to choose from just depending on your play style of course we know that the difficulty will be easy normal hard and brutal one day i do not play on brutal but i think i'll just play on normal just to get the story done you have camera and shake sensitivity which is fantastic to help with a lot of those things like those shaking movements any streaks on the screen anything like that plus it's really great for characters like hulk who is a little bit more you know heavy and he shakes the screen so it's gonna be really fantastic for characters like him also having the target lock option and target assistance option and there is a slider for that so you can adjust that as needed as well as button mapping so that's fantastic and again give a shout out to the marvel's avengers countdown page they have been on top of everything news left and right um, we also have some additional information here talking about what's in progress what they're working on right now which is actually really really exciting those things being high contrast mode for the ui subtitle sizing options so you can make the text a little bit bigger and then motion blur which will have a slider they're working on all those things for you so really just improve you know kind of improve the quality of life for all the people who are playing the game in addition they're working to some really cool options that i wanted to talk about as well like giving controllable settings to your ai and other things are coming as well and so they are working on kind of cleaning up the gear so that way everything seems a little more flushed out but that is freaking awesome they're actually taking in tons of feedback from us from the beta and of course when the official game launches they'll be taking more feedback to really improve the quality of life changes of the game improve those things more and i couldn't ask more from crystal dynamics ideals montreal square enix like you guys are listening to the fans. You guys are listening to your consumers and thank you guys so much for that, for bringing that amazing content to us. Now, I also want to talk about the new multiplayer stuff they dropped today being on Thursday, uh, which is actually fantastic. So, they actually dropped here saying, Marvel Avengers, everything that you know, uh, need to know about the co-op slash multiplayer. So, I'm going to break it down slowly, but show you have this super sick picture of the Avengers, that being Thor, Black Widow, Hulk, as well as Iron Man, fighting one of the uh, kind of spider bots, I forget what the actual name is called. Now, we're going to hop over to the next bit of information talking about the online multiplayer, and I do want want to say if you do not want to be spoiled go ahead and click off the video and i want to appreciate you guys for watching but this will actually have some main main interesting things that be coming to the game if you don't want to know about it i will not spoil you but we have some really cool things that you may want to hear about now first thing first it says right here with around 80 plus war zone and drop zone missions available at launch you got tons of options to play in Marvel avengers how you want to play it and who you can play it with first you can enable matchmaking jump to the game with fans if you like to or just your friends of course you can invite whoever you like into your team and form the perfect strike team as you need you can disable matchmaking if you want to fly solo and kind of just have you and your ai do their thing and of course you can do a combination of both play with two friends and other two will be ai as we've seen in the actual beta now of course there's a super sick picture that may pop up in here i love the picture it looks dope but today we're going to be talking about everything about what's kind of in this list i'm not going to go through it all but i'm going to tell you what they are you, of course you got the reassemble campaign which is the story following kamala khan reassembling the avengers and then playing throughout that entire story versus modok you have the avengers initiative which is playing on the online getting gear unlocking new heroes and stuff like that which is pretty much like entering your war zone that big table you have there you have the war zone which of course we know is the different missions you have the war table which is the table strike team is building up your team stuff like that and really making sure that your team is strong there is no duplicate heroes in any strike team so you cannot have four captain americas you cannot have four hulks it is one single character you will also have things like hero level power level and challenge rating to adjust the rating of how difficult you want it to be not to mention this super sick picture here but you also have unlike the beta you also have things like faction missions which will kind of play a part into rebuilding the outpost drop zone mission which is really just a get in get out quick play you have the shield vaults which is really nothing i know too much about which seems like it's going to be you know kind of finding these uh hidden shield uh caches around the world and just kind of entering those and kind of finding those and you can reap the rewards of what you get from the rooms you have harm rooms which we do know about from the beta you have hive which is a brand new game mode coming which is actually going to require you to have a really strong team for and last but not least is villain sectors which will actually have you fighting against one of the bosses connected to aim and kind of aiding them throughout the entire story so 
tons of information right there. You have even more here talking about, you know, readying up the lobby load, mission start, return to the campaign, another sick picture of all the Avengers together here, uh, and also some technical tips that you'll also have, which is going to be muting players. If you don't want to hear the player over the actual, you know, set, just cover over their actual uh, nameplate, you can turn off that sound. You also have pausing, which you can pause, but it is disabled within Warzone missions with friends. Now, one thing you cannot do is you cannot join people in progress. You have to wait till they get outside the mission and then you can do that. And currently, crossplay is not available at this time, but it will be coming in the near future. So um, it's really, really cool, really, really, really cool. But they also said one thing here, there is some NAT types, read this if you like to. I'll have a link for everything in the description down below for you guys. So just make sure that your NAT type is up to code and you guys are good to go. But that really is all the news for today. That This is the news from Wednesday as well as Thursday, talking about the accessibility and the multiplayer slash co-op play of Marvel Avengers. I hope I didn't spoil too much for you guys, but I am beyond excited about this game. I cannot wait for this game to drop, cannot wait for this game to launch, and I am excited about it. Anyways, if you enjoyed the content, you enjoyed what you saw here today, don't forget to like up the video, share the video out, and I will see you guys all next time. Thank you guys for watching. This has been your boy Infamous, and I am out.